That's right. She, in the, the wheel mm -hmm. um, for the name Hustler. John Brazier likes to build things. In 1985, the former wood and metalwork teacher came across some basic design drawings of a Hustler car in a magazine and was inspired to create his own. It took three summer holidays and all the time in between, but he built this wooden work of six wheels from scratch and it certainly turned heads. The first time I took it to school, I parked it outside of the rooms I was teaching in. One of my colleagues, he got out first and he put a, a, a load of sawdust on the ground behind the car where the exhaust was and he said, look John, you've got a leak. The Wooden Wonder passed its first MOT on April Fool's Day in 1988 and soon became the family car. It got through 13 MOTs without failing. It was, and it still is, to, for me, uh, good fun. His son Lee has fond memories of it. I think I was about 11 when it first went on the road. And so I kind of grew up my teenage years just always being driven around in this car. And you get quite used to people just looking at you and pointing as you're driving down the road. But it's not only inside the car that holds fond memories for Lee and John. Four or five times a year they used to sit up here to watch the motor racing at Castle Coombe. It was such a hit, John even went on to make one for his wife. But now the time has come for it to find a new home. It's been in the garage for quite a long time now. So I kind of feel quite happy it's going to go to someone that's well, hopefully going to do some work on it, bring it back up to standard and maybe even get it back on the road. I'd love to see it being driven past me one day. The car is set to be auctioned in Bath on Friday morning, signalling the start of new beginnings for this family favourite. Annie Olsen, ITV News, Bristol.